Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is the GBWN2 running Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Super important for a number of reasons, I'll, ex I'll explain as we get into the game. But this is running off the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3. Uh, this is the latest build as of December 25th. Everything is pretty much default settings. Um, you can see right here my renders, OpenGL, D3D12, I can't, it says do not use so I won't. Uh, apparently it supports Vulkan, but it's not showing up as one of the renderers, um, even though I do have 1.0.62 API uh, on this Intel driver. It may not be perfectly stable, so maybe that's one of the reasons, but I'll, I'll go into the um, RPCS3 Discord and mention it and see what's up. So I'm using the default resolution of 1280 by 720 but the render scale is uh, under, so we're doing 50%. Uh, the only other thing that we have to do, I oh, know it's in GPU, I'm sorry. The only thing you have to do to make it kind of playable, otherwise you'll get this black screen, is you'll disable Vertex Cache. And that's all you need to do. Um, so the other thing that you need to do is a common problem that happens with Dolphin. Um, if you if you have X input set as one of the, as the main input, uh, obviously you see right here it says no, devi no device detected. So one of the things you always have to do in Dolphin is kind of mouse around using your... Um, the touch screen. So now you can see now that I refreshed after putting into X input mode that the 360 controller is now recognized and I can double tap this. My son is playing a game behind me on his gaming laptop so I do apologize for his fan kicking up. Did I not load it? Let me tell him to... Yeah, he's fine. Hey, so um, for the most part, the game runs reasonably well. Uh, there are some dips; it goes down to 40, 40 FPS, but the audio never really crackles all that much or gets um, messed up. So it's still considerably playable. Also, it's down on the bottom side. I'm not too sure why it doesn't pop up there. So one of the things that one of the reasons why this is really important. Is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World only ever came out for the Xbox 360? Now let me lower this a bit. Even though I do like Anamaguchi Ana music. Um, so, it only ever came out on PS3 and Xbox 360, and even from that point, after like 2015, they had to remove the game from all of those marketplaces. So you can't even buy the game anymore. So, the only way that you could have actually owned this game is if you bought it before 2015 on one of those platforms. So being able to play uh, on a handheld when it never was actually ever on a handheld ever is super cool. <clears throat> you can see that we're going down to 40-ish FPS. But for the most part, it's still super playable as a arcade brawler. Apologies for getting off screen a little. Whenever I play these games, I look at the screen itself as opposed to my viewfinder on my camera. No, oh, get off me! Oop. That's actually pretty good that we actually uh, had that big dog pile because they exploded with a bunch of coins and it brought our frame rate down a little bit. That's literally the lowest I've ever seen the frame rate go down on this game. Frame rate. You can you can hear the audio come down. No! <laughs> Alright, so here's like a little brawler boss. I've been like in super mode for a while now. Oh no! That's good, let's see how bad the frame rate goes down. 
the coins that explode from them. Eh, we go down to 35 FPS. Man, I've been super way too long. So that's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, still quite playable on the PlayStation 3 emulator. <clears throat> Obviously there's going to be performance improvements on this as time goes on. The uh, the group that is doing the PlayStation emulator is doing great work, showing a lot of promise and a lot of new updates. So um, thankfully, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World just plays really well. Um, I'm sure if I, I mess around and try to do some other config stuff instead of just leaving defaults, we can get slightly better performance. But as it is right now, it's um, totally playable. Also, sound's not even messing up, so everything's quite good. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.